This is, uh, this is actually my house kit. Uh, th this is one of mine. Beautiful. It gets used a lot. Y yeah. You know, I mean, back in the day, um, you know, cartage was the big thing. All the studio drummers had, mm -hmm. you know, the, the successful drummers a lot of times had three kits in cartage. And, yeah. you know, they would have one set up in one studio from 10 a.m. till five, and then they would go to another studio at six, yeah. and their other kit would be in there, you know, for Ready their evening. Go. It was just a, a different thing. Now, you know, with budgets being, you know, such a different thing, um, house kits are more of a deal. And studios like, like this one that has an amazing house kit, like we like we do, um, we have a couple of them, the, both of them being WFL, a lot of different sides, like for example, the session that's happening on Friday is uh, the guy wants a 24 inch kick. So we can just swap it, you know, we can give them whatever they want. Tom sizes, kick sizes, uh, we, you know, great snare collection. That way they don't have to bring as much of their own stuff. You know, it's just a, it's a different era of sessions than it was back in the... It's the, nice to just have it yeah, here though. The glory yeah. days of the 90s, you know, I, I remember drummers having, like it, it was like a closet on wheels. You yeah. opened it and it'd be like 16, 20 snare drums in there, yeah. you know. So you have the WFL3 kit. What kind of snares do you have over uh, here? I have a, a, well, on the, with the kit right now, what, oh, yeah. what we, where we left off the other day, this is their, uh, they call it the 1909. It's a WFL aluminum drum, yeah. six and a half. Uh, super, really with WFL drums, what I found, the, the thing that impressed me almost the most, the tuning ranges are crazy wide, even like oh, on yeah. the toms. Like you can get ridiculously low and they still have tone, not just a head slap, you know? Um, but this, so this drum, <laughs> it's crazy. It's, it's um, you know, variety of sounds that it, it gives. But it, it's, I would say it's our most popular drum. Yeah. You know, when drummers come in and use mostly all our own gear. And then I have a, a black, this is not a real Black Beauty. This is mm. a, the Pork Pie, I think. Okay. Uh, they call it Big, the Big Boy or the Big Black. I, I can't remember what they call it, but it's a six and a half brass, you know, with nickel coating over it. Yeah. This is <laughs> a little bit of a pride and joy for me. I bought this in like 1992, new. Yeah. It's a Pearl uh, free floater brass. Yep. And you know, sometimes the piccolo, the high, the high pitched piccolo crack is just the thing. Yeah. And I love, you know, cause this set in storage for years. And so now when I, when I am working in here and somebody pulls that out to match a specific song and I get to hear something that I bought, you know, as a 20 whatever year old kid, mm -hmm. it's kind of, it's pretty satisfying, yeah. you know, to, yeah, that it's still living a life and, yeah. and, and, you know, uh, and when it works too. Yeah. And works great. This is a WFL mahogany drum. Mm. Um, it, it, this is a monster. It's probably, you know, number two or three on the, wow. on the roster of the most used. Cause again, the tuning range is crazy wide. That, that thing can just smack God, really it's high pitch. Beautiful it's too. gorgeous. And you ought to hear it. And, and, you know, I've had guys tune it really low and, and I, I was just, mm. it's, you know, as you can tell, it's tuned up a little bit right now, but I was amazed at how, how swampy it, it was able to get tuned low. It, Man, I'm telling you what, the WFL3, you know, the William Ludwig drums, Yeah, they are as legit, <laughs> you know, uh, so they may be new to some guys, and but I, I'm in love with them. That's it's all I have here. I, I, I had a Gretsch kit in, in story and I don't even have it anymore. It's all, all WFL, but that's a Yamaha Maple. Okay. Um, I think that's a Pearl Sensitone uh, steel. Um, oh, cool. That one gets drug out. This is kind of cool. I bought a kit years ago when I, I, I I'm a drummer. And I used to do NASCAR dates. Oh, really? And, and I, I, you know, you don't want to take a nice kit to a NASCAR <laughs> event. Yeah. So I bought this cheap Pacific kit. You know, it's the W uh, DW like Mexican made DW, drums. Yeah. Um, and this came with it, and it's been in the, in the back of trailers at all temperatures. You know, it, yeah. just thrown around like, and it's still got the original heads. Wow. And I'm not going to change it. Like it's just yeah. kind of thing. You know what yeah. I mean? It's just it just has a, this swampy. Leave the strainer loose. Tune it down. Yep. It's a, Oh, yeah. Fleetwood Mac. Yep. I just think Fleetwood Mac is that douche. You yes, know, kind of thing. exactly. And this is a kind of an unsung hero, a little Yamaha um, birch drum that it gets pulled out quite a bit. It's got some, it's got some snap, but um, like I said, we're getting ready. We're getting ready to change it out to a 12, 13, 16 with a 24. So uh, beautiful. And you know, that's the, just the name of the game. Um, and this is 22. This is a 22 inch kick. Yeah. 13, the drum, 16, 13 and 16. Yep. Yeah. Every, 
every drummer has their you know different thing. And then these cymbals, they're all heartbeat. I've these are heard heartbeat. These. these are these are house kit cymbals. I've got a pretty good collection of these and Peisties. Um, nice. These these are probably the most common house kit cymbals that that get pulled out. The Peisties are kind of the old. 90s sizes, yeah. a lot smaller, a lot more yeah. 16 crash, 17 a crash, brighter. a lot brighter, uh, 14 inch, like crispy hi hat. Um, these are the bigger, more current, like this is a 20 inch crash, I think, mm -hmm. that's a 19, this is like a 22 inch crash. It's, it's just the bigger. That's fun. And you know, it's where things are at right now. Look yeah. at that, I mean, that's like a 16, 16. Yep. 15 or 16. I've got a couple of their hi hats and a couple of their rides.